Patreon shout out for today goes to Rebecca Hopkins, House of Cats. Uh, thank you for giving From the us House money. of Cat, darling. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Cross David to jump in. Um, okay. David, you're from silent and straight man. Stop from a it. bunch of gay men, except myself, uh, glad that you are in a house full of pussy. So. <laughs> Yes, that's right. That's well right. done, guys. And you've got like all types. You've got the fading bald one, George. I'm what those bald cats. I'm one of them. Yeah. Ooh. Well, wait a minute, not because he might have a misty for his ex girlfriend. So don't don't. That's a sore subject. So you know. Yeah. But Rebecca, <laughs> thanks so much. God love you, girl. Thank you, Rebecca. Welcome to the horror hour. We all go a little mad. We get you. 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 We <laughs> I'll just start. <laughs> just... Hello, homos and homies. Welcome back to the horror hour where we debate, we discuss, and we talk all things horror. I am not gay, but I am happy to be here. <laughs> My name is Pugapilla. I'm one of your glorious hosts here. Um, we also have another great lineup of hosts here today. We have Nick says uh, not very much because he isn't here. Um, we. <laughs> <laughs> we also have I, I can't believe we managed to get him on the show if you haven't seen or heard of him before don't worry neither have we we have England's biggest new dancing talent George no I knew I shouldn't have sent you that video <laughs> Hi. how are we going George how are we going we're well thank oh, you oh yeah much. I saw that I saw that short I saw that sh- 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 I saw that video of you uh, on my story in the, uh, in the crop yeah, like, like out, I said it to Liam Liam said to me Liam was like I hate crop tops. They're ugly and they're still ugly on you. So- <laughs> oh my God. No, 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 no. I disagree. I disagree. A man in a crop top. Oh, I love a man in a crop top. I should use just not crop that tops one. Until- just not that one. Yeah. But yes, thank but you. I used for to have a co- I'm well. Yeah. I used to have a couple crop tops. Next All up, right, you've seen him on the big screen and you see him begging in the emails for a keep sponsorship. It's Sonic's arch nemesis, Dr. Eggman. Hi, David. Ooh. Your mother. <laughs> I wrote these at 5 a.m. Just a heads up. <laughs> really? Yeah. I thought John Rivers wrote them. Um, but no, 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 no. I am doing great. I am doing fabulous. It's nice to see some of y'all faces. I am doing great. I, I, you know, I mean, I've seen a lot more of George this week than you know than most people. But you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, no way. He, he was that because he was feeling his married the night fantasy. So I was like, you know what? I'm living for this. Wait, I literally wore that crop top because I wanted to be married the night. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were gonna. I literally thought you were gonna have a whole moment where like the ballerina is twirling and she falls and you and like, I, help and her. And I hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> when I look back on my life, anyway. Sorry. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> and Pogo Pill is like, what the f- is he f- talking about? Anyways, no, uh, just, so moving on. I'm moving just on. admiring everyone's Christmas decorations. I think they look beautiful. Yeah, I've made the effort. I know. David, your Christmas tree looks beautiful. You know what? Click your heels three times and go f*** yourself. Because I am not... This is not... I'm still... I'm still moving. I'm still moving. Well, the, I gotta show... Oh, I gotta show y'all the, the living room. It looks so nice. Wait, hold on. Let me send to y'all right now while y'all talk shit. Hold on. But, yeah, no, it looks so nice. I was, like, talking to Liam. Because, also... Oh, I don't know that's the name of his business. Shut up. <laughs> I, do, I, I can say it. Liam from Even House. Um, <laughs> that was just Liam. What was that? You see, George understood that, what I was saying. He was worried that, it, that Liam hadn't kind of announced that he was moving, but I don't care. I'm not telling you his address. Liam's moving to his own place, which is why he's not here this week. Yes. So that's okay. That's what he was talking about. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, I almost actually completely forgot to mention our last host, but that's because I didn't notice him without his booster seat. He's also just bought a new gaming PC, which I don't know if he realizes or Ooh. not, but he won't actually be able to touch the power button. Yutaka, how you, Taka, how you got going? the GameCube, dude? 
<laughs> Another GameCube. <laughs> Oh, wow. Anywho, anywho. Wow. I, I, I'm doing great. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't have a response except that you just, you didn't know who Blackula was and I'm a little offended. That's fine. No one knows who the horror hour is, but they, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. So I've introduced a new rule today because Nick isn't here and I am in charge uh, our topic is horror remakes that we want. George, you look very concerned. Yeah, because I'm like, what rules are you entering in my house? Okay. <laughs> so let me tell you, if a topic or a choice goes on for too long, an air horn will sound. I'll give you a very quick example, right? David, at what point today are you going to mention that The Birds needs a remake? I beg your fucking pardon. I didn't, I'm not going to... It might have crossed my mind, but I'm not... <laughs> All right, that's enough. Thank you. Not I beg your <laughs> pug a pardon. <laughs> that's great. It's like living in North Korea. What, what the f*** is happening? What is oh, it's okay, what, maybe what? I'll stop the air horn. The air, <laughs> the air horn's not, the air horn's not happening. Suddenly George Lord is like, mercy. are they still in conflict? No. <laughs> Isn't that where Lady Gaga couldn't perform? No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, yeah, today we're talking horror remakes we want. Is there like a spe I, is there a specific year that like it cuts off at? Like obviously you're not gonna go a movie from twenty twenty two needs a remake, right? Well if you thought you're it sucked and you thought can, it could have been okay, better, so, then you could yeah, just mention yeah, it. Because there's a twenty nineteen movie that could they could be remade, but you know. <laughs> and there's a twenty twenty two remake franchise they're about to remake at Spyglass, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, since I'm in charge, I'm going to get to pick who goes first this week. Ooh. And I think I'm going to go with George, actually, <gasps> since he's my little Christmas buddy. Thank you. I am an elf. Um, so I'm sure. actually going to go with one that you just mentioned, by the way, because I thought Dave was going to mention it. And I am actually going to go with the birds. So for me, I've actually, sorry about it. I have written, because I'm actually professional, I've written who I'd want to direct it and also some of the people I'd like in the cast as well. So I want a Birds remake directed by Jordan Peele, starring Zoe Kravitz as Melanie, starring Yahul Abdul-Mateen II as Mitch and Tessa Thompson as Annie. And I want to see it very soon. That's actually not bad. I am loving that yeah. dedication, George. That's and a great well, pick. Mm -hmm. One of us is going to do it. Yeah, I, Wait a minute, I what, song, to... what song is he going to pick for the trailer when it Ooh. drops? Ooh, oh, it, it would be... I like that question. <laughs> uh, oh, who would it be? Yeah, it'd have to be like a re... Feel free to sing it as well. Something would it be like where I would... carries fly like a bird and then it just turns into... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm um, like a bird. Um... Wait, oh, or it could, or it could be like Nelly Furtado's fly like a bird, and it could just. That's what I was. Like yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> and then it could just turn yeah. into like that. It could take like a dark note, and it just like goes very down. And yeah, that would be kind of cool. That Wait, hold up, cute. I want to. I kind of see it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, I only saw this film for the first time two years ago. Not this. Not this October. Last October, I think it was. Um, and I loved it. Um. I love the vibe. I love like small towns, like those sort of like coastal towns. Like, and I just thought like it was Twilight. such a vibe. Oh, stop it! Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to see the screen for my dick when his reaction comes out because it's going to be so hard. Oh, um, it's been but, take, uh, it's taking me so long because I can't shut the f up. I just I'm always stuck. <laughs> I'm so invested. Yes. I hate I hate how invested I was in that movie. Anyway, sorry, let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. But yeah, so, so I would really like to right. see the birds remade, but I think it ha I the reason I picked Jordan Peele is because I was trying to work out who could who is like the new um Hitchcock Alfred and I Hitchcock. feel like yeah. yeah, he has done you know consistently very good movies and I would yeah, like I to see as well. to his take on it. So my first pick would be <laughs> The Birds. Oh, have you not heard? It was my understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian, don't! Brian, don't you know about the bird? Well, Peter's gonna tell you about the bird. Well, a bird, bird, the bird, the bird, the bird, the bird, the bird, Oh my god, Peter, are you all right?
Bow, 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 oh, my mow, mow. You talk, uh, you talk, uh, go on. Give us some 1940s classic. She's so I'm going to go with a 2019 great. movie that never should have been made with how it was made. And so I'd like to see them remake it since we were all really excited when it was announced. And that is that? Two uh, that is Blumhouse's 2019 version of Black Christmas. Don't say that. <laughs> I don't even think that movie should be made again because we've had we've had two extremes of that movie made we've had the original and then we've mm -hmm. had the the 2006 version that like, could only get away with in 2006. i saw i remember it was christmas it was, my grandma took me to see it on christmas and i oh my god i, I ever since then i've lived i like, love seeing it movie. in theaters yeah. i i think um i with so many uh new younger stars i think that we could see a whole level another level of bitchiness because i love 2006 version i'm not saying i need a shot for shot remake but i still love the idea of seeing like bitchy sorority girls yeah but something like a sorority row or black christmas doesn't say that could have been made today but like with that humor it couldn't it just would have could away you imagine the if they don't care if it could have been it's what i want special. No, oh, could you imagine that a screen would... queen's christmas special like black christmas in now that would be okay cool. Like, they, like if Hulu picks it up, like if Hulu picks yeah. it up and they do like a one night, all that, you know, like one, you know, for the, for the yeah. Halloween season. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Yeah. All right. But yeah, like, I, I think it would be, oh, okay, well, there, there you go. Who would be Black in your cast? Who would be like, the... who, who would be like in your like wish list of cast for this? Oh, well, I suppose now they're going to be a bit younger. I mean, I, I didn't know Tom we were Holland. going that far. He's I'm still so huge. sorry. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Tom Holland is going to play Billy? <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. I'm just giving you Addison Ray. Names. Addison Ray, kill her off in the first, like first kill. Addison Ray. I Samara mean, weaving. Oh yeah. she wasn't bad actually in Thanksgiving. In Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I could actually see Addison Ray, um, because you know I wouldn't expect acting. Cancelled. So. Yeah. Okay. Because so. <laughs> he said. Um, I don't know. Or? Like. Actually, some of the cast from Riverdale, like, um, what's the redhead? She oh, just yeah. plays bitchy so well, and I can't remember her name. The, the new Strangers trilogy. Yeah, and like, she could be good in A Black Strangers. Christmas. Like, she she has that energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, uh, Maybe Terry Joe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. She, she, she'll play Agnes. Two, two years later. Um, <laughs> she'll play Agnes. Um, oh. the, wait, hold Guys, up, because I'm trying to... We had the horn. We had a sound of the horn. This is the sound of Elise. Uh, oh, keep talking, it's fine. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think of bitchy. Oh, oh I didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, did, I didn't. I mean, I know we're not supposed to like it, it but Emerald. Oh, oh, Amber. Oh. Amber. Amber would eat up in oh, yes. Black Christmas. Yeah. Oh. I can, see that. can you imagine yeah. her walking down with her long ass hair? She's just like, you know, flipping. Oh, great. I can see that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like okay. that. And then we need so what was wrong with the 2019 okay. one? Because I haven't seen that. <laughs> I, I don't think it was a good movie in general. It was woke. They were okay, just a terrible it was, movie. It was, right, that's like, they were trying so hard to be like this whole voice for the women, for the silence female thing, which is fine. Like, listen, so I am all women. about... Exactly. <laughs> so the point is, like, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> I think it just took it to an extreme to where it wasn't even believe. Well, not believable. It was. Well, I shouldn't say not believable, since considering the subject matter. But it just took it to an extreme to where one. I, I, I don't know. I. <laughs> it didn't feel like a sorority. It didn't feel like a sisterhood. And they were just trying too hard. They were trying yeah, way too hard, right? And you could okay. tell. Yeah, yeah. It would, so you'll see when you get to it. <laughs> and the end fight scene that was dumb. Like, are we watching 300 or are we watching Black Christmas? Right, right, right. Yeah, no, no. I just want to see b I want to see gruesome deaths. I want to see a mom get eaten up. I want to see all that. That's what I want to watch. You know. Not that. See a okay. mom get eaten. Yeah. God, if Carrie Fisher was still alive, she'd do really good as the house mother. I'm serious. She would have been great. She was awesome. And I'm just, but anyways. All right. I'll, I'll stop. David, what's your oh. pick? <laughs> so my pick is a movie that yeah, I've always I had like a love-hate relationship towards and that's uh what's it called oh the omen yeah i think i genuinely the omen is a movie that i have there are scenes that i enjoy that are iconic 
but then it gets to a point where I'm just like, because even in Check the 2006, out. yeah, I, I, even in the remake with uh, the I black, love white girl. that one. I know you you're not a fan of the it. One that does Julie Styles and Dude, thank uh, you, that, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, visually, I love it, but to me, it was the same issue where I was like, the pacing in this movie is a little off. I, because I think like I feel like if somebody were to get their hands on it and take because I don't want to see the hanging off the thing again that's iconic like they need to re like take hold of it and do their own mm -hmm. thing like do their own shocking shit with it and I feel like they could get like a really well made movie because at the end of the day the, the premise is genius but it's yeah. just like certain times it can get a little bit like okay we let's move on like I got I got things so is it like one is it like one of those movies that gets like halfway through and it it's stuck like the first half is really good and then the second half is just like okay Sort of it like I almost think of it like I'm, Elf. Elf's oh, a good I'm, example. No, no, what? It's like film fun. all the way. That's terrible Elf. film all the way through. No, <laughs> no, I'm not taking no Elf slander. No, I am um, awful. you Will, don't like Will Ferrell is gross. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Elf. Wait, 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 George wait, wait, doesn't like Elf. Real quick, wait, 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 George. Yes. Do you and I agree on something? Obviously, I can't that stand that movie. It's vile. Y'all are y'all need help. Y'all need help. Exactly. Yeah, Everyone hates them. No, no, like, those, darling, those, with... those writers needed help because let me say oh. that was not the one. But I did love Zoe you... Deschanel singing Why? in the shower because her oh. voice was gorgeous. Yeah, but guys, here's the thing though that you guys don't understand. She was better in pushing daisies. Here's the thing though that you guys don't understand is that it's just so much joy and it's just so fun and it's just so much. Ugh. No, I prefer every anyway, time a bell rings, cheer an angel gets is to blamed. sing out loud for everyone to hear. All to hear. No, that's that's, that's a wonderful hear. life, George. I've yeah, I know. That. Oh, okay. That's a lot <laughs> my point. Oh anyway, my god. My point is, Elf gets Fine. to like halfway through and then it starts to become a little bit of a drag. However, okay. the movie's amazing. The first half is so good when he's like doing his little montage and shit and running around in the city. So much fun. And then it gets to like that, that whole like, my well, dad's at a fucking news agency and her things are boring. But like, I'm mm -hmm. you see, and I would have, and I would say that it's more paced like Scream, the first Scream, where it's like things, yeah, yeah. big things happen in chunks. And then the mm -hmm. rest is filling in the gaps for people yes. for, because this is the beginning. So it's like because there are scenes like the decapitation scene, the scene with the that wasn't in the, Elf. No, and the, oh, the, that was a great decap. That's still one of my favorite decapitation scenes, mm. by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, and then the obviously, the, and well. obviously the big ending. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Obviously the big ending and all that stuff. Mm. So it's like the the, Bye, the big buddy, things happen. Hope in you find chunks. your dad. <laughs> it's bad. I. Yeah, I'd love to see an omen, but like omen bring like sip, sip it on its head and make him like come from like you know um he's adopted like he's from like the the adoption like a welfare or something and they take on this child and it's Tell like me, it, what do you know about welfare, George? Yeah, and then Angelina Jolie is the okay. one that's adopting and all that stuff, and um, she has like yeah. I know that yeah. my mum says it. Uh, I don't know. I was <laughs> won't be controversial today. <laughs> We're feeling Christmas spirit, guys. We're in Christmas spirit. Why Festive. not? <laughs> also, right. Mariah Carey. Eight. Mariah Carey did great in that film. How does Nick do it? I have gone with an old Italian classic, uh, Demons. <gasps> this movie Ooh. is so much fun, and I would love Ooh, to see soundtrack. like a modern. Oh, dude, soundtrack's incredible. Um, I watched this on my channel. I think like a year and a half ago or so something now. But I would love to see a modern like remake of this um in a cinema i mean you wouldn't kill too many people because not many people go to the cinema anymore but um matinee know, yeah matinee a, a pl you could do it with a play i don't know i think it could no be really there's a movie called do. matinee that is kind of like a remake of demons minus i mean there's a killer killing everybody in a theater so there's no actual supernatural element but it's got a good soundtrack just you know just saying okay but that's called matinee not demons i want a demons remake okay. with the name demons i want it to be gory brutal we, disgusting boxing sorry oh no because i got packages and i just can barely move my feet so like right now it's just like the whole house is like box oh, <laughs> businesses sorry got, <laughs> got packages <laughs> That's my oh, pick anyway. Okay. I've never watched Demons. I've never too. heard of it. Can you better. tell me what it's about, please? Uh, it's about demons. Wow. You uh, basically, are... It's like, uh, I, it's like IMDb of... come to life. It really is like, <laughs> it's genuinely... 
<laughs> and you're a movie channel? <laughs> okay, so it's basically like a bunch of people going to a cinema because they get given a free ticket by like this dude that has like a metal plate on his face. It's like, why would you accept a ticket from that guy anyway? So they go in there and then there's there's this mask that some girl touches and like it scratches her or something and then it infects her and then uh, like just carnage happens because she turns into a demon and then like it's literally the most basic plot ever. People go to a cinema and then a demon outbreak happens and they're stuck in the cinema. That's cute. And the soundtrack yeah. is phenomenal. The soundtrack and is what, amazing. What year did this come out or what a year about? Oh, look, I didn't do my research that far. <laughs> so I think it was like the 80s. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's what I meant. It was like, yeah, 80s. The 80s. I mean, it's such a basic concept. I would just love to see something like that again. That's just okay. simple watching. George, basic your pick? Bitches. Thank you so much. So my Speaking next of. pick... Yeah, this is a basic pick as well. Um, my last one's like not basic, so that's quite cute of me. Um, but this one, obviously, I'm going to say it, get over it. Because um, the last one was iconic, but nobody did anything with it. Um, it's a Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Um, and I would do this one directed by Mike Flanagan. And I would start... I would. I would I'm going to co-sign on that. Wait, 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 wait. Let, no, you can, I'll wait once I No, 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 I'm going to need you to explain um, the Mike Flanagan part. Because yeah, I, I have No problem. Um, okay, um, Caitlin, okay. Caitlin Dever as Nancy, um, and yeah. Willem Dafoe as Freddy. Um, oh, oh my, my god. god, yes! Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> Hope everyone is having a wonderful session. That <laughs> might be not friendly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not the... How know, are you doing? I popped up and Zaka was being rude. I'm bouncing, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you for making my editing you so a... much harder there, Nick. I, <laughs> <laughs> I literally was like, did he hire like a Freddy impersonator or something? To <laughs> <you>? come in. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, and... 35 milligram of the 50 has hit David. I, I was like, what the f*** is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> Same. I saw pop the... up, I'm like, what? And I oh, forgot that okay. has admin rights. No, but it was me that accepted. I didn't let you anyone out. In. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, sorry. Yeah, so um, Caitlin Denver is Nancy and Willem Dafoe is Freddy. And I think Willem Dafoe is Freddy because I think he would have the right amount of mix of... Because I think his Ooh. Green Goblin's like quite camp in the I sense... Yeah, Willem yeah, Dafoe is the Joker oh. so bad. Yeah, oh. I mean, that's another one that people always It'll say. But I think happen. Freddy, he could do creepy, but also like, you know, in like, yeah. that new like, Spider-Man could, film he where he's like... Um, you know, thing is on sabbatical, mm. honey. Like he's just he's got that More like on sabbatical, yeah, sabbatical honey. honey. Like so he's got that thing about him. And I thought I thought Caitlin Dan Dever's quite a I really liked her, even though she didn't really say anything. Um in the most recent what, oh, I still see you. Was that no one will save you? No one will save you. Oh, um, but I think so she's this person. A, um I'm trying she was she in Book Smart. She was oh, in Beanie we're... Feldstein, she was her friend. The skinny <laughs> one. The skinny. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha. The one that was the, les the, the lesbian. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's Caitlin Deaver. That one. Oh, pretty. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think she'd be nice. So Beautiful Mike actress, Flanagan. You know. I, so what, what didn't you like about Mike Flanagan, David? Well, I'm just, conf I'm, I'm just because everything that Mike Flanagan does has like a much deeper meaning. Oh. So the yeah. thing with me, the thing with Freddy is that it was just always at a bit of a surface level. Thank you, George, for refocusing. Like, not necessarily, like, just superficial. It's just, like, you know, it's just, like, this guy is the killer, kill kids and all that stuff. So Mike Flanagan might be a little bit more inclined to, you know, dig deep. Well, unless it's, like, New be. Nightmare. I don't know if I'd ever want to see somebody touch New Nightmare like that. Because yeah. New Nightmare was just so, so good. Like, right. I... I don't know I if I'd want it. I'm okay with seeing a Nightmare on Elm Street, but like a new Nightmare was just. I don't mean like literally new Nightmare, so, but I mean just like in taking essences of, of of that what that movie did in terms of like because that was different to just like the slasher platonic. Oh, it's sure Flanagan could also do a great dreamscape or yeah, great dream world. Like I think he I would was... be, have the imagination to like dream that up. Like especially after Fall of the House of Usher, I just feel like he would be really good also I, I i think he his casting's always on point i will say right. i feel and like cast the whoever same person every time okay well i don't see you coming for ryan murphy's bland ass calm down he's never seen american horror story yeah i actually <laughs> never seen the normal part 
still that was, that was American Horror Story season eleven, wasn't it? NYC. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, that's funny. But yeah, I'm just saying, he, his casting, though, is really Justice good. Justice for Ma Petite, please. No, let me out! Oh, I love it. <laughs> that's so cute. Um, Tania Miller, though, is always an icon, so I'd love to see her in... Mm-hmm. Anyway, sorry, I'm just talking about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm so trying that... to put... I'm... Yeah, yeah, okay, anyways. But I just, that yeah. was just, like, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for people to give me other examples that they think. I'm not going to listen to them, but they're happy to... <laughs> Yeah, I was not just you. I was in the bit. first Nightmare on Elm yeah. Street, so I can't like your ass. Calm down. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about the people who are down below in the comments. They're going to say George is bald and we're every... not going to listen to him. And I'm well, every say, time you I'm... point down below, it's really funny because it's on my screen. It's, it's bugger. Yeah. Like really... if I point down below, <laughs> well, he's the I one don't care always... about this guy down below. <laughs> <laughs> he always makes me look so bad in the edits, guys. That man, um... that man is mine. No, I've only seen the first Nightmare on Elm Street. You don't need any help. Be like, oh yeah, this one's good too. So I'm just enjoying the conversation. <laughs> so rude. But yeah, so that's going to be my second pick. Nightmare, I heard you. Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Thank you. Okay. I mean, no one's obviously going to touch the 2010 version, but it's nice that they would like... God, <laughs> nobody should. <laughs> Go old yeller on that f***ing film. Take it out. Back. End it. Not I even leverage one of that shit. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm going to watch all of them. I just don't know where I'm going to get it. Oh, dear. One. Oh dear. Please don't, because I can't spare the thought of us knowing your views. Uh, well, well, I'll be wa- well, I'll be watching it well, four thousand times. Need one viewer, and if it's George, I'm happy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. He can babe. be my ten out of ten video, and I don't care as long as it's him that watches it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. All right, go f- yourself. You target your pick. Ah. Oh, f- well. Just say Blackula. You know what though? That come on, that is a cute poster. Just say it. Now um, is oh 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 what about the, the air side. horn? Oh, oh, sorry. Said his title. Oh, I just fetched that in Kaluuya. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with them thick thighs. Um, oh, okay. okay right, so right. a movie that I would like to see redone, um, which I actually kind of cheating since they're already in the process of remaking it and i'm really excited but i would like to talk about it just because it is also one of my favorite west craven films people under the stairs Mm. because i believe that jordan peele's doing that one and i am yes beyond excited because again just to see what he can do in horror and just taking on that classic. I just feel one, he would handle it really well, but he would also infuse some of his own ideas and concepts into it. And also, I don't know who I'd want to see cast. Um, do you think they'll cast Harry Potter, like Daniel Radcliffe? <laughs> Wait, he was under the stairs. <laughs> he could play the little guy with the teeth. Oh, God. Well, you know, don't you love it? That, when couldn't that be Alan Carr? You can like, stick your dick in there, and it's like kind of scratches you a little bit when you're getting hit. They have they're like really uncut and all that stuff, and the skin is like an elephant horn, and all that stuff. It gets caught like a little bit wrapped up in the teeth and shit. This is disgusting. Raw <laughs> dogging in the mouth. <laughs> Raw <laughs> dogging oh. that. B- oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, where were we? Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> vamp. I want. I would. I would want to see Vamp made again. But I would like to Vamp. see uh uh um uh Dominique uh oh no not Dominique uh from Pose, Electra. I want to see Electra play the role that oh, Grace I Jones can't played. Her name. Uh, I know who you're talking uh, about. Oh. Uh, f- uh, 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 t- yeah, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. Your part wouldn't. Hey, Angelica Ross. Dominique Jack. Dom, Dom, uh, yeah, Dominique Jackson. Oh, d- Dominique Jackson. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I would like to see her play because the whole point of the movie is like these two teenagers are out of the town and all that stuff and they stumble into this bar that's infested with vampires and all that stuff. And the main vampire, the, the main woman is played by Grace Jones who does this whole elaborate dance on the stage, like basically naked just with paint on and all that stuff. And oh my God, okay. and she just turns, one of the one of the friends <clears throat> goes to the back with her and she's like, you know, he thinks he's going to get <laughs> and she just eats his ass up. Oh, woo. It's so good. It's so good. And it's so, I mean, it has that 80s feel. So it's, yeah, it's very Fright Night. Very... What the f*** did you say? No, no, no. I was going to say, tell us about some of your other favorite vampires, but I didn't, I didn't know you weren't done. So I had to duck for cover. Alice? Yeah. 
Tell us about okay. some of your oh. favorites. <laughs> oh, Alice was my Jesus favorite. Probably. Christ. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> um, what was it? The one the secure looking. Uh, <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> Wait, yes, is that the one me. who was um, in thirteen? You lost me. James, James's girlfriend, the one with the redhead, the redhead. Oh no, never mind. no, no, who, no! The you're blonde thinking one of the crimp hair, right? She ate. When she yeah, was like, oh, already ate. Yeah, the entire yeah, family could be implicated if this 13. ends up badly. Sorry. Okay, guys, oh, not God, the redhead, God, the blonde one. Like, <laughs> who's Shakira? Bella, we're making a Teliana for you. You're literally a walking. She already ate. Sorry. It's the autism. Blames well, it seems we both have autism. Yes, it does. Well, Alice, it seems we both got autism, haven't we? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. <gasps> Can I just ask, sorry, it's really not about this, what just happened, but who closed your door, Pugger? I, I did. Oh, okay, I didn't see it happen. I, I didn't see you scared. close your door. That's all right, David oh. wouldn't either. <laughs> he doesn't even door. recognize what a door is at the moment. I don't even know where we are right now. Um. Anyways, the point is, <laughs> Vamp would so be vamp. so much more big. Yeah, because it has the 80s feel. It's very, um, think of like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Think of like those, that style of like, oh, a baby, uh, Avengers and Babysitting. Like those things oh, like that. Would you like, keep it in the 80s or would you modernize it? Oh my God, Avengers and Babysitting. Honestly, I would okay. modernize it and I would make it, I would make it so that it feels like a little bit like you can't tell what year this is taking place in. Kind of like a, okay. it follows where you don't know, really know what's going on, but it feels oh, like, I would like that. Oh, except with that yeah. clamshell like phone. It's an Amazon oh, yeah. Kindle. An Amazon? Amazon. Kindle. I love how Australians right, say Adidas. Nope. Adidas. Adidas. Yeah, I've never... I, I'm like, what the f***? Because I used to fall... Anyways, Adidas. moving on. Adidas. Ask Nike. how um, they say Nike. Actually, how do Nike. you say Nike? Nike. Nike. Yeah. It sounds German. So, anyway... um. <laughs> I actually yeah. am a little bit German. Fun fact. <gasps> yeah? Exclusive us to be mm? clear. It's got the mother on stage. Okay, I'm not that I'm not that German. I'm just Stop a little it, German. That's not even a German plug, so I don't even no. worry about it. <laughs> yeah. worry. Oh, I can also shit. speak um Americano. Speak oh. okay, you know sorry. what? I would love it if you could speak nothing right now, because it's my pick. Where? Oh my okay. god. I so, think look at I'm I've gone with uh, Arachnophobia. I would love a remake of Arachnophobia. Oh, they will see Jen and shit coming out. I know they would, and that's the thing that sucks, is they Maybe. would yeah. CGI it. Eight-legged like, freaks. I, like, imagine the stuff they could probably do today. I mean, it'd probably be the same f***ing thing. But um, I haven't got, like... I'm annoyed because George has gone out of his way to list directors and casts and stuff, and I've just listed movies... I think arachnophobia would be pretty fun. Set it in Australia so no Americans watch it. <laughs> so, uh, because oh God, Australian but you films... have the ginormous spiders, dude. Bring in the tarantulas or bird eating spiders or something. That Did would you say be incredible. Bird eating. <clears throat> yeah, we have bird eating spiders here. They're literally called bird eating spiders. But oh, how inventive! The spiders used oh. in arachnophobia are huntsman spiders. They're Australian spiders. They're about like the size. Of, they're about this size. Yeah, so they're not. They're not massive. They're I actually always see the videos. They're not poisonous. You see, but I I'm not afraid it. of spiders. The spiders in, in groups that freak me out. But like one, because I have I've held a couple spiders in my hand and they tickle. Because they're so like yeah yeah they're, they're like, not dangerous. How big are these spiders that you be holding? What? Are many spiders out by you? Well, I'm not. I'm not saying that I went outside and saw tarantula and held it. I'm just saying back in the day when we used to go to the oh. zoo and they would take the kids <laughs> in the back <laughs> and went out like, and looked for one specifically just to hold it. I'm I'm over here like where are you at? <laughs> like I'm not doing all that, but <laughs> yeah, I think if they brought in like um, have you guys seen like a Sydney funnel web spider? Yes, or something? you had yeah, me look it up. It looked as bad as your toe. Anyways, I'd Ooh, go with yeah. arachnophobia, and I think uh, maybe set it in. I mean, you could do the same setting, um, but have it like. You know, some drug smuggler tries to smuggle drugs to America and accidentally brings oh, a funnel web spider across, and then it like do I don't know. What about like, like on a plane, of, like snakes Simpsons on a plane, where they introduce that like uh, dude, that frog? Dude, snakes on a plane. Was it a on a plane? Spiders on a plane. Arachnids on a plane. Bring Lynn Shea back. Mm -hmm. She was great. Spiders? No, no, no. Anyways, Anyways, that's that's spiders on a spiders on a cruise. Got snakes on a plane. Spiders on a spiders on a. He's trying to rhyme spiders. it. Spiders. Spiders. Yeah, but snakes on a spiders. plane doesn't. Spiders rhyme. on a glider. Oh, Sp snakes on a, on a plane doesn't rhyme, Pugger. 
Oh yeah, it Speak. doesn't. Never no. mind. Uh, George, your pick, buddy. <laughs> 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 so this is my final pick um and oh, i've gone God. with an and i've gone with an old film um like utaka's era and that is creature from the black lagoon Ooh. and i would like it to be directed by I mean, robert wait, have you actually seen the original i have indeed holy shit it's I one of the most that. beautiful movies i've ever seen it's it is so, yeah when he is it's under funny. underneath her and he's looking that is one of the most stunning shots i've ever seen in my entire life it is genius. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah. sorry. Moving on. Yeah, yeah. So I would like it to be directed by Robert Eggers, who's currently or who's directing the new Nosferatu um, movie. Mm-hmm. I would like Naomi Scott to play K, Doctor K. Um, mm-hmm. I would have Miles Teller as um, Doctor David, and I'd have Wyatt mm-hmm. Russell as Mark, um, Mark Williams. And I just think it would be such a cool movie to redo because I feel like we've we're at a lull for creature features at the moment. And I feel mm-hmm. like we could, other than like you, you Godzilla minus ones. Um, I think it would be quite nice to have a new creature horror movie. I can't remember the last like big creature Crawl. horror movie. Yeah, Which that was good that? though. Was that last year? No, oh, no, that was a couple years ago. Uh, Crawl was, was twenty nineteen. But I agree. I there how, hasn't been a really good. I remember how I cried alone in the movie theater watching Shape of Water. Yeah, well, maybe even Guillermo del Toro could G- G- direct it. Dude, how, could you say his name on one more time? For, oh. mm. No, 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 no hold up. Can... Gilmero del Toro. <laughs> <laughs> Just call him del Toro. <laughs> Wait, how, what, what is it? How would you it's... say Gilmero? G- Guillermo. You say it with an accent. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, think of like, think of a Y. Think of like where the L's yeah. are. Think Guillermo. of a Y. Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> Have you heard of that Guillermo del Toro? I heard he's making that creature. Guillermo del Toro. I cannot believe. Oh I'm my so god. Sorry. But yes, I, I think it would be nice to have a like a creature feature, but like do it like really quite beautifully. Like don't like do it like the like just such a yes yeah, sexy looking old style movie. What's everyone laughing at? Nothing. Well, I'll just share it later. I already know. I already know. Like, no, no, no. I'll okay. I'll share it off screen. Oh, it's okay. for you, David. Trust me. I, I saw it pop up. I saw it pop up. I was like, oh shit. So yes, Uh-oh. that would be my George, third. You gotta stop liking posts while we're recording, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. So yes, Creature from the Black Lagoon. I think that'd be a real cute new movie, and to bring us back into the, you know, get some old style horror monster movies back. Hollywood glamour. Yeah. That haziness, so. that just like oh, dream give life. us Anaconda. <laughs> oh, oh my god, oh my god, Anaconda I, I will watch that movie. Except I tried to watch it again as an adult, and Eric I Stolt, when John Voight Eric comes Stolt's out, I go, not <laughs> attractive. I, I never understood. Wait, who's not that. attractive? Eric Stoltz, who's that? Like JLo, you can't be going for that doctor, man. Oh, the one that gets a thing in the yeah. Oh, for me, I was like, I, I don't see that, Mr. Q. Oh, 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 that yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, he was fine. But yeah, I can't get to the part where John Voight, he just regurgitates John Voight. <sighs> I, just, I just have to it's turn so it off. Good, like, he's like, <clears throat> as a have kid, I would watch it on repeat. No, I haven't. Oh, you'd love it. You should watch it. I like yeah. Anaconda, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, so sorry, that's my third one. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Thank you so much. That was a the good one, George. Your picks me tonight. The one I'm, I wake up I'm gonna... in bed with. Thank you. Oh, is the holiday spirit that has him like... You can't say that. Why? It's what happened? Dick. I have a penis. I Wait, I'm sorry. I th- I'm talking about. He's talking. Now what, he's what talking happened? about. All right, Madonna. Um, he was talking about. <laughs> his... I hope. I hope Pugga finds send Pugga that clip so we can edit that in over your right. blurry face. <laughs> Anyways, what, Anyways, what, what were we talking about? We're talking about Yutaka's final pick. Oh no 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 no! Pick. I want to know what the f- he said. Because I'm he curious. said what that he's got an with? anaconda in his pants. He's talking about his penis. A I straight s- man. I talking said about his the penis. only snake that scares me is the one I wake up in bed with. And then George went, "Wait a second. I just assume it's an anteater. So I, I said at the start of the anaconda. episode, "I am not a gay man." All right, it was my own penis. An anteater. Ew. You know where? What I the f- with- is going? Okay, you Tucker, your you Tucker. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so terrible right now. I, yeah, yeah, I know. Arsenic and old lace. Do you guys know of that? What? Oh yeah. Say that again. Say it slowly. I did not hear. 
arsenic and old lace arsenic and old lace and it's basically um is. it's about a couple who uh, i don't know if it's the ants or whatnot you... but they're yes. at this house and these two old women are basically poisoning all these people and murdering them and then burying them in the basement where another family member who's got dementia thinks he's in one of the wars i think to see the day in Roosevelt, I can't remember. And so he's burying the bodies for them in the basement, and it is just wild. Wait, it's based on the title. I, I, I feel like it should be based on the title. I think it should be played by like old drag queens. <laughs> oh my! I, I already know who. Like, I, I'm thinking like Bendela. Oh, because I was thinking like Lady What's Bunny and Bianca Del Rio, just like arsenic, hateful bitches, just like as in, the, as in the poison. Okay, I've searched. I, and I'm, old I'm lace. hearing arsenic and old space. No, arsenic and old and old lace. Old oh, love the fabric. Old lace. I heard arsenic yeah. and old yeah. space. <laughs> and arsenic's old. one word. But arsenic and old lace. It's oh, it's a great dark comedy. It's really funny. There's a lot of death. And oh, oh, that would be a good drag queen production. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, like it would be so cool. Like have like old, like oh, hateful, like a lady bunny or like, Bianca just hateful just murdering, and then RuPaul is like on the in the basement, like you know, like <laughs> yeah, I just looked yeah. it up. All the cast, all the cast are dead. That's sad. Don't you hate it when you look up? A, no, but you look up a movie and then all the pictures are in black and white, and you're like, <sighs> like when Ryan like my, talked like about Melissa. Things. And I thought she died, mm. and because he was the first one that I heard the news from, I thought the died. I was like, "Oh my God, Melissa, <laughs> not Melissa!" <laughs> and, and then, then the next day, you're like, "Jenna, no, <laughs> Jenna's gone too." God, yo, he scared the <laughs> shit out of me. I thought she died. I was like, "Oh, I'm like, oh, oh, rest in guys. peace, Carpenter sisters." Oh my God, this boy's gonna give me heart palpitations. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> David. What is David know the, of the film? You guys are missing out. It's really good. It's from he 1944. Didn't know it. No, I didn't know. That's oh, like he was pretending. God. Sarcasm. Yeah. Sorry. Put the put the look put it up. Drink down. Oh, the... <laughs> um, the man honestly... who had more milligrams better than I am, and I've had anyways. Honestly, I I it's not a specific thing. I just wish we would bring back like anthology series back because i'm such a big fan of like the alfred hitchcock hour and i'm such a big fan of like, this, like i wish fear well fear yeah well, yeah that's coming yeah. yeah that's coming back but there's i mean there's there's a connection between them though i mean even though the so, like know, tales of talking... the dark side tales tales of the dark didn't they have blondie i really, I really <laughs> wish i really yeah. wish they would come back with shows especially like with plat you know the series like with max or whatever or even like sh whatever like shutter because like just a, a space where it's like a different just american horror director. stories yeah yeah no, 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 i know no, right no, it's not, let's, let's, already let's... back no 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 shutter no, no. Had the, they're, uh, four seasons they're pushing it out that was good the, or, i'm sorry that yeah. was actually surprisingly good no he means like in like it's in each episode is a completely different story but they are right okay right right it could right. be different like directors. the twilight zone yeah, because I'm a huge fan of the Alfred Hitchcock hours, so it's like I miss like that type of like with the no sorry. Every <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's like there's no attachment, and even for a season, it's just like literally an episode for like 45 minutes, it's just, like a completely different story. And, and especially with like the attention span we have nowadays, I feel like that would be like so cool to see just like what you know, giving out like directors like opportunities to like you know do their shit. Because yeah, I'm sure there's like a lot so. of great directors that just have like cool ideas and we're just like focusing on the big ones right now because it's like, you know, whatever. And I'm like, you know, so it would be kind of cool to have like a big... I would love to see, speaking of Hitchcock, that should be a thing. Talk about Hitchcock films we would see remade. I just did the birds. No, no, no. I, Wait, what I, was that? I, I, I sneezed. Oh, I was like... That was a sneeze? Okay. No, that's like when George said he had Tourette's and he really didn't. Dude, no, um, that kind of looked like, like Tourette's. <laughs> I would love to see rope. I used to have a friend Aww. that she was like, I was like, let that shit out. Like, the f <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. anyway, why do I think that's Jay sneezing? But I know it's not because I've heard her sneeze. I have a very right. loud sneeze. Oh my god, there was this porn star. His name is uh, I forgot his name. That when he nuts. It literally feels like George of the Jungle is right in your ear. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? It's, it's so crazy. Like, Doesn't work, man. It didn't hear it. <laughs> it's already gone. Every time I hear that, it makes me think like 
Pug has got like a, a vibrating egg inside him and it's going no, off. Dude, I literally just have a YouTube video up. Have <laughs> 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 you had your sound deck set? Have you had your, your deck set? I have set my up? sound thing. Yeah, I know. I you have a stream up. deck and you don't even f use it. All right, Mr. Play PC over there. The is it a big up. deck? Is it a big deck? Don't give me that, George. It's a medium sized deck. Oh my god, it's tiny. Oh, well, I, I like medium sized decks. <laughs> I like holding medium decks in my hand. <laughs> There's actually a great ad from New Zealand. Yeah, like about, big decks. Um, big decks are a little bit too much for me. I don't like. Uh, I mean, medium decks are usually better for me. I think. I don't know. There's a Anyways, um, like a boyfriend deck Zealand or a vacation about... deck. No, just boyfriend deck. Boyfriend deck. Talk. All the time. Hooker, just keep talking yeah. and get closer to the mic. That's what you have to do. There's a great ad from New Zealand about decks, and the, all the joke is is. He just keeps saying things that are sexual innuendos about decks. So like thank beach you, David, off. for reminding me that. Yeah, yeah, legit. Thank you, David, for reminding me about that ad. Schaefer's New Zealand style dick sealant. The best way to take care of your dick in three easy steps. First, wash your dick with soap and water. Then, wait for your dick to dry. Once your dick is clean and dry, paint your dick with Schaefer's dick sealant. I used to be too embarrassed to invite people over to see my dick. But now, my dick's the talk of the town. After all, summertime is all about spending time on your dick. I'll often have 20 to 30 people on my dick at once. That can really wear your dick out. I used to never let children anywhere near my dick. My dick was too dangerous for cuds to play on. But it seems like every cud in the neighborhood's been on my dick this summer, and they've all had a good time. So <laughs> I still have a couple left, so after this I'm just gonna do a quick couple honorable mentions. But this is one that will never ever happen, but I wish it would. And that is a live action remake with the original Scooby Doo cast for <gasps> Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. I would <gasps> yes! Love live action Sold. remake of that. Oh, the bring witch is one of my favorites. Bring back all those guys. Bring back Scooby Doo, even though he might be dead by now because it's been like 20 years. Yeah. So, and dogs don't live that long. Wait a minute, who's playing Daphne? Sarah Michelle Gellar. He means the original. The same cast. person. Oh, you want the? Yeah. Oh, you want everybody to come yeah, back? Yeah, no, I he said... wants that one. So oh, Freddie okay, Prinze, gonna... um, Linda oh, Cardellini. Dude, if we could, even if they're aged, like they're older, just I would bring still watch it. For this. They should I do it like a scream film, film, where it's like the killer's back, or like Halloween, and they're all like. I've been waiting for this night and I would love this movie scared the shit out of me as a kid and I would love to see like a live action I take on it. I have the VHS of Zombie Island. I, Zombie Island and Witch's Ghost Witch's Ghost <gasps> with the Hex Girls with the Hex Girls and we're come to spell on you. I used to just love it when the Globetrotters would show up on the show. I was like I don't know why I just took it all the time. <laughs> That's that like dancing loved... practice George wasn't it? The hip, <laughs> that was. The hip rolls. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Get the crop top. Get the crop top. Wait, uh -oh. hold up. Instead of a movie, though, Pugga, because I, I love uh, Zombie Island, um, but how great would it be if there was just like a live action Scooby Doo show with the cast that played nah. the live action? Nah. Like a People half hour, like, end. no? Do you remember? Does anybody remember that they made a YouTube show yeah. of Scooby Doo? Yeah. And that was like pretty crazy because everybody was making fun of like drink. double. Everyone was hyped for one episode and then nobody watched yeah, the other Yeah, but then everybody was, I remember in the comments, they were like, why the f*** they look so old? I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my bad. Yeah. I will say, um, I gotta hear <laughs> I remember, oh no, uh, I saw a comment that was like, why is Daphne's hair thinning? I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too real. Why Supernatural is always the good one that's Scooby -Doo the in cosplays? Houses in cosplays, <sighs> yeah. That's well, true. Every time you see a Velma cosplay, it's always super hot. She's never ugly like she is in the movies, so. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. I like Linda Cardellini, so fuck off. <laughs> I bet you love it no, when she I comes down what, that I orange what he means. Oh, dude, I understand what he means. I understand what he means. I did. I absolutely <laughs> did. Mystery <laughs> solved in my pants is what I would like to add there. Ew. <laughs> I, I have a reaction to that on my channel, and you can see me like get a hard on when she. Can... <laughs> With the camera, it's probably not much. Put the seat down. Put the seat down. I don't know. Is your desk down? You and your you're in your Confederate flag your scream seat. <laughs> <laughs> Make Thank Scream you, great again. Anyway. Oh, my um, God. Yeah, so oh that, my God. that's my final pick. Did anyone have uh, any honorable mentions before I list no. them off quickly? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I, no, I didn't either. I just had the three. 
for me. All right, Yutaka, any honorable mentions? House of Wax. Mm-hmm. It's been really? a while. It'd be good. Yeah. It's still on my list, but. My whole Netflix. Oh. I want to watch it because it has um, uh, Sam from Supernatural uh, in it. Oh, I forgot Jared Padalecki. Oh, oh he's got a good scene too. Like when the. Uh, anyway, I don't want to ruin that. Okay. Um, All right. My honorable mentions. Oh, you're still going? Okay. No. Nope. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Sorry. You sounded a little bit Canadian. <laughs> and so I was okay. like, like, what? Some of my honorable mentions are mm-hmm. Wishmaster. I would like <gasps> to see a Wishmaster remake. That would be cool in today's the age. Thick thighs, Kane Hodder. Okay. He's got the uh, I would like to see a Killer Clowns from Outer Space remake. I think Ooh, that could be know. quite fun. Absolutely not. Oh no 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 no. Okay, well there's I'll a magic of the '80s that you just can't recreate again. <laughs> right? Oh, that's such a great film. I would oh, like yeah. to see. Now this one could be controversial given today's society, but I would like to see a Sleepaway Camp remake. I was waiting for one of y'all to say that because I'm like, no, no. Um, <laughs> if could, if we it did, could be fun. Mm, not, maybe not the first one, but that second one would be wild. It could be fun though, You'd, and I would like to see the discourse online after it releases. Honestly, uh, I, I you would, don't need but, to. You could just see what happened when they slash them but, came out. Imagine the TikTok clips today. <laughs> It'd be wild. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And last but not least, because we have entered the Christmas season and nobody mentioned a Christmas movie at all. Actually, they did. I'm sorry. I would like to suggest a remake of Gremlins. Okay. Ooh. I've never seen the original. Gremlins was never my favorite. Wait, I watched what? it yesterday, George. You would love it. Mm-hmm. Gremlins yeah. was never one that I'm like, ooh, Gremlins. Okay. I, mean, I mean, the part with the, with the old lady up the, up the stairs, that shit is always funny to me. I, that was just like... <laughs> It is wait, not hilarious. when the mom's getting attacked in the kitchen because that's funny what happens. That's funny, Gremlin. that's funny. But that old <laughs> going express, oh my god, that took me out <laughs> I know. Of express. that was hilarious, yeah. hysterical. Yeah, but yeah, her FedEx <laughs> package. Was I also love the um, the cops when that happens, like their face of like, did we just see this old <laughs> fucking fly out the window? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. you did. Well, yes, anyways, one more because I was thinking about it. And it made me think because I love, you know, Betty White, and I don't know who we would get to put f- off uh, to um, be in this role. Lake Placid. Oh, oh yeah. But yeah. who would you cast as the Betty White figure? Just who bring now? Betty White back. Mia Goth. <sighs> Sorry. I think I'm oh, actually very good a, at streaming. That took me a second, actually. I was like, Mia Goth. And I was like, <laughs> can, you do the, can you do it for us, David? Can you Wait, do the word? You know who's still alive? That's not terrible. Howard? But you know who's still alive who could probably do it? Do the Howard. Do the Howard. Do the Howard. Oh! <laughs> I'm ready for you to f*** this pussy, Howard! Thank okay. you. I was going to say, I'm either Vicky Lawrence check. or Carol Burnett. <laughs> Carol, Carol Burnett. Burnett. Oh my god. I bet they could be funny in that role. Puggle Puddle, do you know who Carol Burnett is? I feel like she would really embrace it. Uh, I can't say I do, no. Have you seen Annie? Okay. Oh, the little Annie girl. The little orphan no. woman. Yeah, <laughs> not the little orphan woman. Have you seen no. the film? I have she seen the yeah. woman. So, in the original... Yeah, is that, that's the one with uh, Dr. Evil and Mini-Me. Like, it's so what? hard knock, like... Oh my oh, god! Of, I get oh my god! Oh okay. my god! Okay. No, no, I've seen. Yeah, I've seen. seen I, I was I've about like, Annie. how the f off in the original one or the nineteen uh, nineties one with Kathy Bates? Uh the the, well, the original one with Cameron Diaz, little orange haired girl, right? Yeah, the, all three of them have. That. Yeah, I've seen the. I haven't seen it in ages, but. Okay. Well, she, Carol Burnett is plays um, Miss Hannigan, the, right? Miss Hannigan in the original. Yep. The woman who owns the skinny. I only chicks. remember Annie. I don't remember any of them. Okay. Well, anyways, she's old, so let's move on. We got okay. Annie. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't want to do the outro. I think I'll do it because I'm the only can do it properly. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of us, you absolutely can. All the links are in the description below. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We are at the Horror Hour TV. If you want to see even more bits and bobs, you can go over to our Patreon. We get early access to these. You also get access to live streams and watch alongs, um, as well as our after hours show. But if you want watch alongs galore, then you can head and click our join membership on our YouTube channel. 
channel where you tackle watches absolutely, absolutely everybody. Um, well, and I don't watch everybody. Off. I watch everything. Oh, oh. oh. And yeah. so, that, yes, be we, fun though, like a fun reaction, like having us just like watch porn and jerking off and it's screen all that stuff. I don't know. You'd actually have to show up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'd also like to say so we'd like to thank Pugger. Um, he's available. <laughs> he's available on Pugger Pillar. Um, David's yeah. available on his YouTube channel. I'm available on George Alex. David YouTube. doesn't need f promotion. He just hit two hundred thousand subscribers. Oh my god! This rich like, I have no money. <laughs> the horror hour. The horror hour literally has one ten, one twentieth of his subscriber count. Subscribe to us. All right. It's not all about money, bugger. Gosh. Oh my god. Why are you so rude to mom? Don't make me bring my chew out. We love America. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you brought chew out. We, we know what happened on Among Us. Yeah, so yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> we do, yeah. So thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been an oh. absolute pleasure. We love you so much, and we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. You have been listening to the Horror Hour. See you next time.